Hi, Vaughn here. Welcome to my craft room. Today we're going to make a fun quick card using the stamp set Gorgeous Leaves and the Layering Dioramas dies. There's seven dies in it and I'll show you what we're going to do with that. And I'm going to use the sentiment from the stamp set Flowers of Friendship. Okay, it's a pretty simple card here. It's a Cajun craze with cork paper on top, the pretty leaves stamped in with this inside. Little different design, right? You normally we have uh, layers, but this is a card on top of a base layer. Okay. I came up with this idea trying to think, what could I do with the cork paper? And I love these um, diorama die. So what we're going to do, the cork paper is very thin. You can't leave it on its own. It's a, it's a shaved cork on top of a paper. So it needs to be glued onto something. So that's going to work perfect there. Cardstock, very vanilla, four and a quarter by five and a half. And I've taken the largest diorama and I'm going to push this edge just over a bit. So when I run it through the uh, stamp and cut boss machine, you're going to have a hinged card. Okay, so let's try that. Okay, I've used the la largest diorama die. Here's the card here. So now we're going to get some stamping. First, I'm going to stamp the background with this largest stamp. I'm going to use cinnamon cider. I'm going to stamp it off. And I'm going to put it about there. Okay. And then I'm going to take this small leaf and stamp it about there. It's not pretty. Okay, and then the Cajun craze. I'm going to take this large maple leaf and I'm going to stamp it sort of about there. I love the splotches that the ink, the stamp has with just around the leaves and that. Do you see that? And then just to um, add a little bit of more color texture, I'm going to take the smaller splotch, splotch, <laughs> splotch stamp, stamp it off. This is with Old Olive. And I'm going to pop in some just about here. This gives a little extra color and something here. Okay, now when I put this card on here, it's at an angle. So when I, but when I stamp, I want it to be straight. So what I've done is I drew a line so I knew basically what kind of an angle it's going to sit on the card, about like that, right? Hope I got it right. And then I'm going to stamp that sentiment in Cajun Craze. Let's just take a... Okay, and I'm going to pop it in right about there. Now you could put the whole thing on an angle. Okay. And on the inside, while I'm doing that, I stamped this maple leaf again. I shouldn't have put that away quite yet with the Cajun craze, but I'll stamp it off just once. Yeah, and I just put it in like so. Isn't that pretty? I love the stamp. It's called Gorgeous uh, Lee, but it reminds me of a stamp set that we had several years ago called Gorgeous Grunge, and I love it. It's just so pretty. 
Now from the uh, flowering friendship, flowers of friendship stamp, the thanks for everything. Also put that in as well. And remember, I got to put this at a bit of an angle to remember so that this looks straight when you put it in. And you know me, I have a tough time doing things straight, so if it's not quite perfect, it won't be that noticeable. Okay, so we're going to mount. That's all the stamping there is. Let's just put this. cork paper. I love it. The texture of it, it. It's like real cork. I've never seen this kind of paper before. It's just gorgeous. Okay. Same thing with this. Just going to run some Tombow around the edges. And I'm going to put it about so trying to keep that big card little the, the sentiment straight right okay now i have some retired copper ribbon basket what was from basket weave and metallic ribbon combo pack but you know what uh twine would work linen thread i think it'll look great on this I'll just use this just to show you how simple and quick this card is and it's so darn cute my hardest part is doing bows when they're on the card but I want to do this like so Okay, so I'm going to make this bow a little smaller. I don't want it too big. Tighten it up. And I'll just put a glue dot there to kind of hold it. Okay, now from the brushed metallic dots, Oh yeah, you can see it, right? This copper just works perfect. So I'll put um, get my take your pick tool. It's better for this. And I'll put one here. One up here. And voila, there you go. You've got your card. Isn't that cute? I just love that. Um, I'm going to make a whole bunch of these to send to the hospital and nurses and ER wards. Um, so I've, I've got plans, big job coming up, but I just think this is, with the maple leaf, I think it's totally appropriate. So there you are, a little card, big thanks, on cork paper. Okay. Thanks for coming to my craft room. Hope you try the project. Bye for now.